Okay, I'm recording. I love that side uh, whistle. <laughs> I found the No Agenda guys doing it, and I couldn't resist. Have you seen the No Agenda guys? Oh, my God. They are so weird. Uh, check them out. No Agenda. It's, so, it's that simple. iTunes. I'm over at iTunes, and if you want to be on iTunes, come on with me over there. Uh, this video and the one we just did. Uh, should be on iTunes very shortly. So if you'd like the whole world to hear you on iTunes, you better get on the comment list, and I shall read the comments when we get to the YouTube over uh, to my website when my webmaster comes on Wednesday and helps me make changes. So every Wednesday, there's more changes and more different things happening on my website. So... Be sure and check it out. We're going from A Reefer, A Reefer Radio uh, to uh, the Grandma Nan Show. So uh, check us out. We're on iTunes. And if you type in the Grandma Nan at Google, you should get all kinds. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I haven't done that in a while. I wonder. Of course, you get something different than I do, so I don't know. But check out Google and see if the Grandma Nan Show doesn't come up there. If not, you'll find us on YouTube and, I mean, yeah, on YouTube and iTunes. <laughs> That's it. No Twitter, no Facebook. So if you see a Grandma Nan with Twitter or Facebook, it ain't me. Oh, I like the way my hair moves like that. That's kind of neat, huh? New cut and all. I just don't know what to do with it yet. But it was uh, really hard the way it was. So, now that we have a little bit left, uh, let's see what we were going to do. We were going to talk about uh, the rest of all this I had in, in, in tune. And don't forget, uh, I want uh, uh, lyrics for my jingle, right? Here's my jingle again. Ready? It's about Hawaii flower power. Grandma Nan says, what goes around comes around every day. So Grandma Nan's pushing that force your way at 420 twice a day. So give me a jingle to go along with that. I need music. I need the kind of music that'll stick in your head forever. And you go around singing this until you can't stand it. That's what I want, a jingle I can't stop singing. So we were talking about... Um, uh, well, what we were talking about Tommy Chung and, and uh, Willie Nelson and uh, Ron Paul. It, it just We're all just old codgers uh, trying to get along in the world. And, and so here we are. And, um, and we were talking about uh, the feds and, and the locals and, and, the, and the debates and gambling and smoking and drinking and everybody ought to. And, oh, yeah, I was, I was telling you about looking for a sponsor. Because nobody really wanted to send me any money. I mean, you know, dopers are broke. they got to spend their money on dope. So uh, I can understand. But at the same time, I, I need a little bit more money so I don't lose my webmaster. He's getting more expensive all the time. And he's very good. And he's right down the block. So it's perfect. I don't want to go anywhere else. I, I just need a little more money. So I was looking at sponsors. And I got, uh, I got the uh, Amazon button. But... I haven't seen any money because they don't pay very much and not enough people go through my website to go to Amazon. So that isn't really working worth a shit. So I need some help. So if you've got um, a checking account and you want to write me a check, you don't want to go through PayPal, fine. I'll be happy to take your check. You can send it to me at Post Office Box 1174 Curtis Town, Hawaii. 
1-800-826-9760. And I am Nanette Norman, the great Grandma Nan. <laughs> and so, back to what we want. So I was talking about Pepsi and Coke, and I really didn't want Pepsi or Coke, but I really wanted the bottled water. So I started looking into getting a sponsor of bottled water, and I found out that Pepsi and Coke are around the world, heavy, heavy duty, and they don't need me <laughs> at all. The bottled water is wrapped up so tight in the world order that uh, they would just laugh at me and throw me in the garbage. So I didn't try them. So my next bet was Uban coffee, because that's what I drink is U-Band coffee. I drink bottled water and U-Band coffee. So I figured maybe I should do that. Well, that's Columbia. And what happens uh, if you try to write to Columbia to try and get somebody in U-Band to sponsor your coffee? Well, you get somebody on, you know, in the United States, distributors and all, and it's not the same as trying to talk to the company, I guess. Anyway, I gave up on the whole idea, and I said, well, if I can't get any, any uh, you know, contributions uh, from my listeners, uh, and everybody's looking for contributions, uh, we send some to PBS uh, for uh, public broadcasting, and uh, we send some to the association to pave the roads, and <laughs> so forth. So there's, you know, always places to send your money. So if you'd like to include me in your list of handouts, uh, I would be well blessed. So uh, that's the whole thing of the, the money. We, everybody needs money, darn it. So that's what I got down here. And then, just so we don't run out, we're already at seven minutes, so i got to be fast now. I, I have a couple things today. Uh, women, you know, it's really, really tragic that women have taken such a beating this year. If you've been listening to the politics of the Republican Party and everybody else, you will see that women have taken a real beating this year, and they don't deserve it. The League of Women Voters have always done the, um, the debates, and now they've been dumped for some group. We have no idea who they are and what's going on in the League of Women Voters. It was their main purpose and their big thing, and my mother was such a big... She'd be so busy all the time for the League of Women Voters, and it was all volunteer work, and it was all women, and it was great. Well, now it's pretty well dead. They've pretty well buried it. And Planned Parenthood, oh, my God, what would the millions of us do without Planned Parenthood? It has been in my family. It has been in my heart uh, since I got married, and my mother took me to Planned Parenthood. And I was already pregnant, so that did a lot of good. But I eventually got some birth control pills, and that kept me from having a jillion kids I didn't need and couldn't afford. Because I certainly didn't stop fucking just because uh, I didn't want any kids. You know, that wasn't the way life was. Uh, you, old ladies don't remember how horny they were when they were a girl. And old ladies are willing to vote against these things for women. Oh, ladies, come on. You remember when you were hot and haughty? Don't vote against women, for Christ's sake, for Jesus' sake, for the goddess's sake. Get a, get, a, get a handle on it. Get a handle on it, ladies, girls, women. You got to think about these things, and now we better go before we get killed. But buy yourself a wind chime, a nice, big, five-foot wind chime. And that'll make you feel better. I guarantee it. So remember, love yourself first. Then love those that take care of you. Then take care of those that love you. And we'll see you next time. <coughs> and a bell. And a duck call. Uh, uh. And a goose call. <coughs> and we're out of here. <laughs> Later.